Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 2 and the crochet hook in size 3.75 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot. We'll chain 307. So now that we have chained 307, right here on the second chain from the hook I'll make one single crochet. And now I'll chain one and then I'll skip four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one treble treble crochet. I'll chain two then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble crochet. I'll chain two. Then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two. Then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two. Then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Now I'll chain one, I'll skip the next four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one single crochet. And now again I'll chain one, then I'll skip the next four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. So I have five treble treble crochets. Now I'll chain one, then I'll skip the next four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain one, I'll skip the next four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through that same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain one, then I'll skip the next four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one single crochet. Chain one, I'll skip the next four chains and through the fifth chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. Chain two, then through the same chain I'll make one treble treble. And now to finish off this row I'll chain one, then right here through this last chain I'll make one single crochet. So this will complete the first row. 
this is just a sample so I've chained the last chains but you have to chain 307 so now for row 2 I'll turn my work around now we need to come right here to this middle treble treble crochet so we'll slip stitch until we reach this middle treble treble we have reached this uh, metal triple trouble I will chain three then I'll skip this first two chain space and through the second two chain space I'll make one double crochet I'll chain three I will skip these next two loops this one and this one and right here through this third loop I'll make one double crochet I'll chain three. I'll skip this first triple treble crochet and through the second triple treble chain I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain three. I'll skip this first two chain loop and through the second two chain loop I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain three. I will skip these next two loops and right here through this third loop I'll make one double crochet. Chain three. I'll skip this first triple trouble and through the second triple trouble chain, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain three. I'll skip this first two chain loop and through the second two chain loop, I'll make one double crochet. Chain three. Then I'll skip these two loops and through this third loop right here, I'll make one double crochet chain three then I'll skip this first treble treble and through a second treble treble chain I'll make one single crochet so this completes row two and now for row three I'll turn my work around then I'll chain one and right here through this three chain loop right here through the middle this large loop I'll make one treble treble chain two then right there through that same loop I'll make one treble treble chain two through that same loop I'll make one treble treble chain two through that same loop I'll make one treble treble chain two then through the same loop I'll make one treble treble. So now that we have five treble troubles, I'll chain one. Then right here through this next single crochet, I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain one. Then again through this second loop right here, through this three chain loop, that large loop right there in the middle. I'll make five treble treble crochets with two chains in between. five treble treble crochets with two chains in between I'll chain one then again through this next single crochet chain I'll make one single crochet chain one right here through this large three chain loop I'll make, I'll make five treble treble crochets with two chains in between
I'll chain one. Then right here through his next single crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. So this completes row two. For row three, I'll turn my work around. And now for row four, I need to reach this third treble treble crochet. So we'll slip stitch until we reach this third treble treble crochet. chain three then I'll skip this first two chain loop and through the second two chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain three then I'll skip these next two loops and right here through this third two chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain three I'll skip this first triple trouble and through the second triple trouble I'll make one single crochet chain three then I'll skip this first two chain loop and through a second two chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain three I'll skip these next two loops and through this third two chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain three then I'll skip this first triple trouble and through a second triple trouble chain I'll make one single crochet so this will complete row four so for the pattern, we repeat rows two and three. So I repeated row two and three for the pattern. And now my shawl is 32 inches long and 60 inches wide. And now we need to do the edging and we should be done. So now for the edging, I'm going to use yarn in two different color. One is yellow and one is in multicolor. You can make it in the same color if you want to, but I want to try this. I'm just going to use this book to make these tassels.
we finish putting all these tassels around, we'll end up with something like this. So as you can see, one of my colors was yellow, another one was multicolor purple. And if you don't have multicolor purple, you can just use a, a regular purple color.